everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today's makeover i was going to make already for a very 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 long time and many of you have also asked about it in the comments under my videos and now finally today i feel that i'm finally ready to make an old barbie doll no old of course i don't mean like 90 years old or something like this because this is what is old but i mean like an older one because we are used to see barbie dolls like young people of i don't know 18 20 maximum 30 okay maybe 35 40. but today i'm going to make a barbie doll that is no let's say for sure 45 plus maybe 50 plus maybe 60 plus we'll see how it's going to go and why actually I didn't make this makeover already long ago? First of all, because it was quite difficult to find a doll that will like be able to handle this kind of a makeover. Now these standard Barbie dolls, of course, I can ring, uh, draw all kind of wrinkles and yeah, all kinds of pigmentation and other things that happens <laughs> to all of us. Uh, but she will still stay Barbie doll with this goofy smile, with this, you know, Barbie nose, with all these, you know, Barbie features. And now I have finally found a doll that can handle this kind of a makeover. And this is such a big Barbie doll head, of course I call them Barbie dolls, but this is a fake Barbie doll, something Barbie-like. And uh, this doll has a little bit different kind of a face mold because you see she's not really smiling too wide, uh, her nose is not like too too small and too cartoonish. She looks pretty like a normal person that can become adult, that can become old, that can handle all these yeah, changes that will happen to our faces sooner or later. So I think this doll will become my model of this week. And let's start the makeover! I'm really curious where we will end up in the end of this video and how she's gonna look just in a couple of minutes for you. Well, for me it will take of course a little bit longer, about maybe six or seven days. So let's go! Can video open Come on, film and what a nice surprise I've got when I opened the box! Strangely enough, when the doll was inside of it, covered in plastic, I couldn't really see that she had two completely different eyes. Look, first of all, one eye is much lower than another. Normally, the corners of her right eye should be like somewhere here. And it's not just about the placement of the eyes, they're just different. The shape, even the color, the eyeshadows, it's all not the same. And next to the different eyes, she has, of course, lots of useless accessories. Some hair extensions of terrible color, hair clippers, yeah, and some of them I cannot even open, some other cheap plastic stuff, yeah, maybe just the makeup bag looks good, I will use it to storage all these things. But this is, by the way, the first time I see a real fabric dress in a such a styling doll hat. Normally they have painted dresses on, and she also has quite nice hair, no bold spots, so I think I will keep her original hair on and I will make it grey in some other way. Guys, I just cannot look at her face. I feel really like dizzy from it. So let's take acetone and remove it all quickly. I think even with one eye she looks better than with two different ones. But really, for me it doesn't really matter how dolls look before customizing. In my case, worse is better. But if you're a young person, a kid, and you get such a doll as a gift, you will be terribly disappointed and sad. 
How can they even sell something like this? So, and now let's take my pencils and sketch her brand new face. And before doing it, I have sprayed her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear, like always. First, I'm sketching her eyes and eyebrows, and let's try to make her eyes similar and symmetric, not like the original ones. Her eyebrows should be quite low, because when we're getting old, the Earth's attraction pulls everything down. And the eyebrows of an older person are always a little bit lower, as well as the eyelids, the cheeks, just everything. Then with a very light brown pencil, I draw the main wrinkles. I start with horizontal wrinkles on her forehead and the vertical wrinkles between the eyebrows. Then I draw the fine wrinkles around her eyes. And then I move into the wrinkles around her mouth. I draw the deep smile lines and the wrinkles around her lips. And then I make all the wrinkles deeper with soft pastels. And while I'm applying the shadows, let's reply some of your comments. I'm really happy you love this idea, so here is a new portion of questions. And the first question, or these are even two questions with the same answer, are about what I do with my dolls and where I storage them. 
Most of my dolls I sell in my online shop on Etsy, so I have approximately nothing left in my studio. Just a couple of big dolls hats that were made just to experiment and they were never for sale. And I'm not really a doll collector and I never was. It's fun for me to create new dolls, new characters, new faces and to let them go into a new life, to get their new owners and new cool homes, to let them travel. For me it's more fun to look at the map of all the countries and continents where my dolls live than to look at, I know, 150 dolls next to each other getting covered in dust. And I always have pictures of my dolls if I want to see them again if I miss them. The next question is from Iris Barbie 29 What is your favorite part of repainting a doll? I really love seeing the result of applying highlights after many layers of shadowing and adding color accents. Then everything becomes really 3D and it all starts to look very realistic. Because our brains see the lighter areas as the ones that are closer to us and the darker areas, like the far and the deeper ones. And this trick helps us to create visual dimension. The next question is from Julian990, who is asking about my favorite doll brand. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of BGD dolls made by Popov sisters. I think these dolls is a pure piece of art. Really, I will put a couple of pictures on the screen if you don't know them yet. It's of course a very, very, very high-end brand. They're making dolls for Jean-Paul Gaultier and Marilyn Manson and they're taking part in serious fashion shows. And I perfectly understand why. So I hope one day I will be able to create my own brand dolls as well. Because these girls and their dolls is a pure inspiration for me. It shows that everything is possible if you work a lot and if you do your job good. And let's take one more question today and it comes from Miss Amain, who is asking about using Mr. Super Clear Sealant, when to use it and how often to do it. Yeah, there are about 17 layers of sealant on each doll of mine. 2-3 layers in the beginning to prepare the surface, 2-3 layers in the end to protect the end result, and for sure a dozen of layers to protect my work in progress. It's like pushing the save button while working in Microsoft Word or in Photoshop. I normally draw for 20 minutes, then I spray the step, I let it dry for 30 minutes, and then I draw another 20 minutes. If you want, I can mention it in one of my next videos when exactly I apply the sealant. I remember I did it once in the beginning of my channel, but I don't think many people have seen it then. And meanwhile, I add all the time more and more fine and deeper wrinkles with a very sharp Caput Mortum color pencil. This time it's gonna be kind of makeover in sepia style, because I want to keep her face very natural looking. Of course, many older people use makeup, my grandmother colored her eyebrows and used the red lipstick until she was 80 years old, probably. I'm also a person who just loves makeup, it's like a magic thing to me. 15 minutes, a couple of basic steps, and you look much fresher and healthier and younger. Why should I say no to these wonder products? But this time I want to create a very cozy and natural look like a look of a grandmother, so I will mainly work with brownish pencils and pastels today.
And now let's finally add some colors to her face. With my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils, I draw the white of her eyes, the waterline and the irises. And this time I want to give her very light grey eyes. I'm planning to give her grey hair, so the eyebrows should also be grey if we are going for a natural look. Then I start working on her lips. First I make darker the line between the lips where falls the natural shadow and then with a light terracotta pencil I draw the new shape of her lips. When we get older our lips become thinner and this is what I'm going to draw right now. Now I'm going to add more highlights and color accents to her eyes to make them more realistic. And then I start applying highlights to her wrinkles to give them some extra dimension and more realistic look.
For the eyelashes this time, I will use a grey pencil with some accents of black and light grey. And of course, no false lashes this time. The lashes are getting shorter and thinner when we are getting older, and it's more difficult even to see them because of the lower eyelid. add some extra pigmentation to her face. Now her face is almost ready and I just need to add some extra reflections to her eyes. This step makes those eyes much more alive, literally in one second. And I'm not going to apply any gloss to her eyes and lips today, so I need to make the eyes realistic and shiny without any gloss. I'm going to use silver paint to make her hair grey, so I must protect her face very good if I don't want to have silver spots all over her face. I've applied three layers of silver paint and I think her hair color looks really good right now. For her outfit, I have chosen two kinds of fabric, because I think they look a little bit old-fashioned and will fit our older lady today. And using a piece of a golden wire and a lipstick, I make retro-looking glasses. And here is the end result! I don't know why, but I love her so much! She's staying in my studio right now, and sometimes I just stop next to her and think, damn, she looks good! 
Probably because she's a completely different kind of doll than what I normally make, not another perfect model face. And I also think she looks much better than before. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Some people look just more and more interesting when they're getting older. And this doll is probably exactly the case. And now I'm eagerly waiting to hear your opinion about my such an unusual doll makeover. Maybe she looks like your grandmother or mother, or maybe just like you, because I know that there are lots of adults watching to my videos as well. Or maybe she makes you think about your first school teacher or a lovely neighbor lady who grows beautiful roses in her garden and makes the best cookies. I'm really looking forward to hear your stories and opinions. And please support my video with your likes if you enjoy the makeover today. Check if you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button if you don't want to miss my new doll repaint videos every week Friday. And I will see you already very soon in my new doll makeover video. Bye!